All right, friends. So yesterday I said that I deleted the video of Daniel and I opening our socks, which I did. And I wanted to show you what we got. Okay. You saw the first day's socks, right? We got Jasmine and <laughs> Iron Man. That was day one. Day two, you got Ariel socks. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? What did you say? My collection's complete. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then Daniel got, I think, Captain Marvel. Don't know. But they look cool. So that was day two socks. Daniel's not here to do day three. He had to work early this morning. So I'm just going to do it for you, babe. You got Spidey Man for yours. I know, he's trying to open them nice. Alright. Uh, oh, you got Black Panther. Uh, <laughs> it's alright, he'll like them. Um, you know, I didn't care for Black Panther. But, that's cool, babe. You got Black Panther. <laughs> alright, now for me, I got Belle again. Why was his so much easier to open? Oh, hell yeah! Okay, so you know how I told you that I'm more of a villain than I am of a superhero? Or like the good guys? I'm more into the... I'm more into the bad guys. But, uh... Maleficent! I freaking love Maleficent! <laughs> um, I was gonna be Maleficent for Halloween, but... I was too scared to do it because <laughs> I don't I'm not I didn't I'm not I'm not, I don't look like Angelina Jolie but um not that I had to look like her to be Maleficent because she's not Maleficent but she was Maleficent so you know when you just can't recreate a look you can't recreate a look because she was the queen bee but I got Maleficent and I'm excited I'm not wearing any of these socks yet we're saving them until the last day until Christmas. So there's only like nine days left till Christmas. Can you believe that? Um, I hope you've done your Christmas shopping because I haven't. I still gotta do Christmas shopping and then wrapping all our Christmas presents. But I could show you how to wrap the Christmas presents because I'm a good rapper. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap yo pre I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, um, so that was it for our socks for day day three <laughs> stay tuned for day four and yeah all right now bye <laughs> hi friends <laughs> and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is vanessa make sure you subscribe <laughs> and start with this video off with the like um yeah i just hope everyone's having a wonderful day Today is Sunday, which is December 16th, and that is day 16 of Vlogmas, which means I've been doing this for 16 days, and that's exciting. So, um, today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to, I had asked what videos you would like to see or you would like to hear me talk about, and a lot of you say that, um, you want to feel connected in a way, or you want to feel... You just want to know maybe more about me. I don't know what I'm trying to say at the moment. <laughs> um, so I just thought I would come up with living. I'm I'm sure a lot of people live with fear. But for me, today is December 16th and it's a traumatic day. So that is what got me to live with fear. So I thought I'd share. Um, I'm not trying to be inspirational. Like I don't. I'm going to use word like I'm going to talk about fear and I'm not going to try to be like inspirational about it. I'm just going to show you or tell you how I live with it and how I deal with it and how I try to manage living with it. And you could take that as advice. You can just listen. You can do with it what like if it helps you or if it if you feel the same way I feel like when I was yesterday when I was talking and I was I rewatched the video over and I said I wanted to be the YouTube a YouTuber that people can connect with and I think the word I was looking for was relatable. I want like for a YouTuber the YouTubers that I watch, you know, they all do pranks, they all do they all do stuff like that and eventually maybe I'll get there. 
but right now I'm more like I said I'm a more of a feelings type of person and um, I just want people to be able to connect and be able to relate with me that way like I'm not about promoting brands and promoting products and like doing all that stuff quite yet so like that I don't want you to think that's what I'm here for like I'm here to be a sp not a spokesperson but <laughs> sorry my son's asleep um I'm here for people to feel the way that I feel and they feel like they are alone or like they don't have anything and I just want to be rela relatable in that in that sense if that makes sense so when I w was reading over the comments and I saw I can't remember exactly what they said but it made me think of living with fear and why I live oh it's because I said I wasn't gonna it's because I don't leave my house and I can explain why I don't leave my house and why I live with fear and all that so I'm gonna explain it's probably gonna I'm just gonna be talking the whole time so if you would like to listen go ahead and listen um yeah like I said you can take this for just listening getting to know me you could take it for advice you could take it for I don't know whatever you want to take it um yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I'm already scared <laughs> um that's another thing about fear is being scared um it makes you scared it ma it's making me scared to do this video film this video right now and fear fear living with fear brings so many emotions it makes you scared it makes you paralyzed it makes you comfortable where you're at it makes you um afraid to speak up and to talk about your feelings and that's me like i've never ever 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 felt the need to talk about my feelings because like right now when i go back and rewatch this i'm gonna feel like be like damn i was just literally crying about nothing like so if you think that you're crying about yourself it's not necessarily i'm not crying i'm just i mean i don't i'm I don't know <laughs> um but fear does come with many emotions and it has put me in a position where I am stuck um December 16th of 2014 I was involved in a very bad car accident and that is the moment that I really experienced fear um my whole life I have been scared so scared I think scared and fear are two different type of feelings um scared is like you're just like whew, you know and then fear is just like no 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 so December 16th I was involved in a very bad car accident I was on the freeway and I was in a Kia Soul so you know those little hamster cars um and I rear-ended somebody going 65 miles and I got rear-ended going 65 miles and I got sideswiped going 65 miles. So that car accident put me in a very traumatic position to ever want to be in a car again. And since then, I have not drove. Um, I do not like being in cars unless I have to. Like I, I, I go places. But like when I get into a car, like instantly, like my mood changes, like I become cranky, crabby, like don't talk to me, like focused on the road, like looking up around my surroundings. I don't like being in a car. I don't trust nobody in a car. I don't like, so that's just where fear has, that's when I first experienced fear was being in the car. And so over time, it took me about four or five months to get back into a car after that. Like I literally stayed home, didn't move, didn't do nothing. Well, I was very injured, so I wasn't allowed to move or go out or do anything. And uh, I went, when I got a new car, I had, I got into the car, a new car in March or April or something like that. And not even like two months after having my brand new car, I got to another car accident. And that was just a rear end. I rear ended somebody because 
they were texting and but I got in trouble for it so that's that and since then I was like you know what forget it I'm not driving no more I'm done and then I traded that car in for oh no I still have that car I like I, I got that car fixed and then I met Daniel and he since I met him he's drove ever since and so March of 2015 I was eight months seven months pregnant and I had gotten to on my birthday <laughs> I had gotten into another car accident we we got rear-ended in um, on the freeway coming back from the zoo because we went to the zoo for my birthday and then just since then like my fear I've had many fearful moments like my birth my delivery with my son that was very traumatic um our accidents are what really started my fear and then you know me being a stay-at-home mom I watch movies I watch the news I read the news I read books I read you know there's so many things that go on in the world that's scary that has that I see and that I watch and that like I hear about and that also puts a lot of pressure on me being fearful or being fear feared for it being being scared pretty much and then having my son to worry about having myself to worry about having Daniel to worry about my condition is not a condition that I can take care of myself alone and myself my son alone and that that brings up a lot of like a lot of fear you know like because I can't do nothing to save nobody like I can like I could use myself as a shield or something but like when it comes down to it like you you see people ladies going to walk their dog and they get mugged or walk their kid and they get mugged you know or they get kidnapped and their son gets kidnapped and I find if I put myself in a position where I go to the park alone with my son and a man just walks up to us like boom I'm gone like I can't fight I can't do nothing so I don't go to the park I don't take my son to the park I don't drive I don't go out public I don't I don't do anything because I I fear that something bad could happen and I'm comfortable at home I know that this right here is a safe environment nobody's gonna bother me nobody's gonna touch me I can't fall and break a hip here or break my back and hurt my back like there's being at home I'm comfortable and that is that right now is something that is very hard to get over um let alone getting in a car like getting me in a car is the hardest thing like oh man um so right now fear is something that I'm struggling with and it has been something I have been with my whole life but like I said I didn't know fear until December 16th of 2014 because that's when I realized that how precious life is and how important life is and how I'm trying not to cry but that's the moment that I realized that life can be taken in a matter of seconds <laughs> you know um it's a scary world out there and trying to find the good in it is hard but um I found a quote <laughs> that I think it was from Einstein if I'm sure I'm gonna read it to you I'm looking down um Einstein said the most important decision we make is whether we be whether we believe we live in a friendly or a hostile universe and when I read that I was like damn <laughs> like what do I believe do I live in um, do I live in a friendly or do I live in a hostile and I like took time to think about it uh I believe I live in a friendly universe um I have my family that my that love me I have my son my dogs I have that's <laughs> pretty much about it um but when you believe that you live in a hostile place it does become scary and I have believed that we live in a scary world which we do 
but I believe that's that's all that I believe that it's just scary out there like there's this much good and then like that much bad and trying to trying to balance that out to where it's it's hard to find the balance in I don't even know like I can't I can't I don't know I don't know how to explain it but um all I can say is that when you trust that you are loved that you are cared for that you're taken care of that you have people that support you and pretty much love when you feel that you're loved you can you can trust that it's a safe place it's a safe universe and I feel that with my family at least I feel that with whoever I'm around I feel safe um I live with fear a lot of fear and it's taking a lot for me to get over it and to overcome it because right now in life I have become like I said I've become comfortable where I'm at I'm I'm scared to go out I'm scared to do anything I'm scared to try anything new I fear I fear failure, I fear disappointment, I fear everything that you think e like emotionally that you can and it's stressful, <laughs> um, it takes a lot out of you but um, what, what I do to overcome it is I focus on positive things, I focus on the people that love me, the people that care about me, the people that actually want to help me the people that are there for me and it helps um like I'm still scared don't get me wrong I think that I will always live with the fear of like car accidents um I don't know when I will drive again um it has to be soon because I don't I don't want Junior to see me like that you know but like me getting in a car like if I get into another car accident I mean, anybody's life can be taken in a car accident, but my body is physically not capable of taking, tr like, traumatic, like, like, I'm literally 4'11", um, and I have rods and screws up and down my back, I've had, like, you, you know my, if you know my story, um, it's just hard for me to not be scared, let me just say that. So finding my balance with fear to making it my friend and not my enemy and and to make it my friend and not my enemy um, is definitely hard. So there's a couple books that I'm reading right now. Um, I don't know where it is or I think it's a Kindle. Let me let me see. So the book I'm reading right now is the fear the fear cure. By Lisa Rankin, MD, um, and that that's helping me cope with like finding my balance with fear. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> if you want to read the book, get get it on Amazon or just go to like your Barnes and Noble or something. Like I said, I'm not like an inspirational. I'm not going to tell you like, yeah, I'm going to cure your fear because all you got to do is this and this and this. No, it's not even like that. Like, I'm not even cured yet. Um, but it's really like, it's really not about curing your fear. It's about finding the balance and finding how you can manage it and then it gets taken away, you know? Um, but that is what fear is for me and how I live with it. So if you feel the same way or you know how I feel and you can relate to that, you know, let me know and we could start a conversation. We could start, you know, it's just all, it, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, but that's why I don't leave my house or I don't do anything, I don't drive and it's all because of fear. It's not because of fear because, I mean, it is because of fear and I know it's all like a me thing. This is something that I have to eventually do. I have to get up and go do it. And it's all about when the right time is that I want to do it. Like with YouTube, I'd never wanted, I, I always wanted to do it. Like I talked about it, talked about it, talked about it, but I was scared because I didn't want to not be liked by somebody or I didn't want somebody to 
say me comment or do all this stuff but it's like fear is in my mind right now telling me not to do all this but I'm pushing it to the back of my head and I'm trying to do it so I'm trying to like you know it's all about trying so if some like if you are struggling like really struggling like I'm still struggling don't think that I have it all together because I don't so if you're struggling like me and you feel like you're too scared to speak up about it like I want to be that person that people could talk to or people could come to like I want to set up a PO box eventually so people could write to me because what I like to do is I like to write like I love to write I write everything down I have books and books and books like are like notebooks where's my notebook at? I have notebooks of writing everything down and it helps like you write it down and you look at it and you read it and you like all right so it's not it's not as scary as it looks um but it's just really it's really hard to overcome it um you know it takes time but uh yeah so that is why I live with fear and I hope to eventually one day overcome all this fear and drive <laughs> and go out and do stuff on my own and be able to be independent I was independent at one point you know and then that was when I was younger and naive and I didn't know nothing about myself like I didn't care and now that I'm older and I know like my body I know everything like I know I'm old enough to know it's scary it's really it's really scary so it's really all about just finding that balance and finding that peace in life and it's hard especially when if you don't have certain beliefs like I don't want to say I'm not religious I that's okay I'm not even gonna get started there because that's like a whole nother vlog but I'm not not religious but I do believe in God if that makes sense um I think finding something that you believe in also helps you and for the longest time, I didn't believe in God because <coughs> for the longest time, I didn't believe in God because why would he make a person this way, you know? But that's a whole nother vlog, a whole nother video. Um, I just wanted to talk about why I live in fear and if you can relate um i'm gonna do my best to edit this video because i was kind of all over the place so if it doesn't make sense i'm sorry but if you understand um thank you um for all my supporters out there i need you to comment because i need to i need to i'm writing all my supporters down that like even if you like this video comment that you like this video or even comment leave a comment so I know your name because I'm writing your names down because I'm gonna start doing like not like big giveaways but like I'm gonna make a craft or something like I'm a crafty person I'm gonna make a craft and eventually mail it to you or you know I gotta find a way to be connected with my people so or connected with my friends <laughs> so you know just make sure to comment uh, like you don't have to share you know like I'm not promoting myself if you find my channel and you like me just subscribe um, I'm just really here to be a friend to a friend who doesn't have any friends because I know what it's like to not have friends when you think that you do so um, yeah just make sure to like comment share subscribe join my family I love you for those that are liking and sharing and watching and taking the time to watch me <laughs> um, my son's asleep right now so I'm gonna go lay with him and edit this video and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> so tomorrow will be tomorrow's gonna be day 17 of vlogmas Ooh, day 16 look at my son I don't know how people do it <laughs> but I hope you all have a wonderful day um take care and just let you know i'm letting out all my juicy secrets like i don't i've never ever ever talked about anything like this so for my friends and family that's watching this <laughs> don't judge um don't i just don't want to be i don't i never spoke upon it because i never never wanted to be be treated differently i don't want to be babied i've been uh I've been nurtured, not nurtured, I've been babied my whole, like, oh, frick, what's the word, comforted? 
my whole life and I need to find my independence. So don't baby me because I'm okay, but these are just feelings that I've had for many years and it's all finally coming out to you guys. So you're the first to hear everything like really deep and emotionally and all my thoughts. So just take to mind of that. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>